Let's do a throwback segment. We haven't done one of those in a while. So Bill Maher has a two-hour show tonight, one hour of real time, and then he's going to do his new stand-up special following it all live. And I figured, because of that, let's take a look back at the infamous comment that got Maher fired in 2001 from his first show, Politically Incorrect. So after 9-11, he said this. He was a national pariah. On Politically Incorrect, the show that once followed this one, he made this infamous comment less than a week after 9-11. We have been the cowards, lobbing cruise missiles from 2,000 miles away. Absolutely. That's cowardly. That, that is a Staying terrible. in the airplane yes. when it hits the building. That is Say what terrible. you want about it, not you know. cowardly. Now, the timing on that was, mm, because I don't know if you guys remember, the year or two after September 11th, everybody was in just a national state of, what the fuck? Attack! America! Fuck yeah! Let's just go after anybody. We don't care if it even looks somewhat similar to the people that attacked us. Fuck it. Invade. So, if you didn't 100% toe the line and say a rah-rah America thing, I mean, you were just, you know, destroyed in the media. So that's a perfect example of that right there. Now, is it true what he said? I say yes. Because... Here's the distinction that the media didn't make, and I think it's completely disingenuous for them not to bring this up. He is not saying, by any stretch of the imagination, oh, they're good people. In fact, he clarified time and time again, I obviously believe that terrorists and religious fundamentalists and extremists and the people that did 9-11, they're evil, they're wrong, they're bad. They're idiots, they're barbaric, they're savages. Every wrong word you can possibly think of in the dictionary to describe them, except cowardly. And the reason why they're not cowardly is because, I mean, be honest, in order to follow through with the mission like that, even though it's evil and savage and wrong and bad, it's not cowardly to do that. Okay? It's the opposite, actually. Again, they're savages, they're evil, they're barbaric, they're wrong, they're idiots, so on and so forth, but it is not cowardly to follow through with the mission. You fucking blew yourself up uh, and stayed in a plane as it crashed into a building. So people, they couldn't deal with the nuance and the complexity of the statements. They were just like, ah, oh, anger! We're mad! This is horrible. Now, I should also add this. Um, the other part is true, how, yeah, I mean... Talk to former drone operators, they'll tell you that. That when they're sitting in this little, you know, studio-like room, and they have, like, controls in their hands flying a drone over some rural area of Pakistan, and they're pressing buttons to blow shit up, they're... that is more cowardly than... than the other thing. It is, it is, it might be an uncomfortable conclusion, but it is! Okay? And the other thing is this. Dinesh D'Souza... F made the point first, and Mar just agreed. That's why it, virtually every clip you can find of this situation, I couldn't find the longer one, I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but Dinesh D'Souza makes that point first, and Mar just echoes it and agrees. In fact, Mar had D'Souza on his show uh, recently, on Real Time, and he said to him, hey man, why didn't you come out and defend me after that when you made the point and I just buttressed it and echoed it and agreed? And you didn't say, hey, 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 man, look, why are we all going after Mar here? I made the same point, and it's true for reasons X, Y, and Z. He didn't. He backed off. So it's a, a weird thing. But also, this gets into a bigger conversation, too, of the issue of free speech. Now, I get it. I'm not one of those, you know, uh, ignorant people that thinks free speech means you have a right to a job on network TV. Of course not. The, your bosses can fire you for something you say. No question about it. The idea of free speech is only about the uh, government censoring you or throwing you in jail for saying something, right? But with that being said, I do kind of believe more in the principle, too. So what I mean by that is, and this may be unpopular, but I would not have fired Martin Bashir for his shit in Sarah Palin's mouth comment. I also, it works both ways, man. I wouldn't have suspended uh, Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty, no matter how vicious his comments were about gay people. I wouldn't have fired... Uh, 
Anthony from Opie and Anthony. Yes, the guy is a vicious racist, and I disagree with him completely, but I wouldn't have fired him for it. Okay, I really take to heart, who is it, Voltaire, Oscar Wilde, whatever brilliant philosopher who said, uh, if you don't believe in freedom of speech for the people that you disagree with the most, you don't believe in it at all. And also, Mars ratings, post this episode, shot through the roof. His ratings were as high as they ever were, but he got canned. Why did he get canned? Because the advertisers didn't want to continue to advertise on his show. So... In multiple different ways, the situation was fucked up, but it worked out for the better because Mar ended up getting real time and he's still one of the biggest comedians around and big time progressive and all that stuff. So it worked out for the better. But still, looking back on the comments, I think they were right, okay? And not just me, I think uh, Bill Hicks also. There's a clip online of Bill Hicks making the same point, I think, nine or ten years before that. So, this isn't an out-there idea. In fact, it's very grounded, it's very nuanced, and it's very smart, but you just have to take away the bullshit outrage in order to see it. 